ओके नाउ वी गॉट सेक्शन थ्री यू सी मोर मल्टीपल चॉइस एंड यू सी मेरे पैसे हराम हो गए समथिंग लाइक दैर इन एक्चुअल टेस्ट सो मेनी मल्टीपल चॉइस आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर एट बैंड आई एम एलर्जिक टू मल्टीपल चॉइस ये पैसे तो बर्बाद हो गए देन यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अगला टेस्ट कहां से पैसे निकालने घड़ी yeah? बेच दूंगा आई डू आइल्स एंड ऑल दैट एनी वेज ओके सेक्शन थ्री क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स द टाइटल इज रॉकी बे फील्ड ट्रिप नाउ यू शुड हैव सम नॉलेज अबाउट फील्ड ट्रिप इट्स जस्ट लाइक द सेम यू नो स्टडी टूअर they used to take us i remember they once took us to a tractor factory and the best thing i found in that tractor factory was their biscuits and tea okay <laughs> yeah that was very nice yeah so uh, anyways field tour is when they take you to the field and there they show you different things and all that question number 21 what do the students agree now listen multiple choice in part 3 two to three questions are very important number one agree number two decide right and there are some more like that i'll tell you about that now agree this is very important that you listen to both speakers and one speaker is going to say something if second one agrees to that then that person will say yes you are right or you have the point yes i agree or anything like that and if he says no i don't think like that i don't think so they will not use the word directly i disagree but i have a different approach i think about it in a different way anything like that now agree about what uh what do the students agree should be included in their aims agreement and should be included in their aims option a factors affecting where organisms live right now factors affecting where organisms live now for where organisms live they can use the word habitat of the organisms place of living of the organisms and all that so this factor should be included in the aim of their case course if it is that this will be the answer if one person says no this is out of the scope and then they do, they disagree this will not be the answer b need to preserve endangered species now by the way in a where organisms live you will only focus that in b preserve endangered species just three words preserve endangered species and c techniques for classifying different organisms just focus classifying different organisms out of three options according to them they agree that this point show or this aim should be included that will be the answer other two are the traps let's do this now it's going to be a little more complicated so get ready i brought my notes on our biology field trip to rocky bay colin so we can work on our report on the research we did together okay i've got mine too let's look at the aims of the trip first right what did you have i just put something about getting experience of the different sorts of procedures used on a field trip but we need something about what causes different organisms to choose particular habitats i agree and something about finding out how to protect organisms in danger of dying out in our aims mm. but we weren't really looking at that i suppose not we won't be looking at that i agree A where organisms live about B one said she it should be added said I don't think so and all that so I play this audio again so that you guys make sure it's A I brought my notes on our biology field trip to Rocky Bay Colin so we can work on our report on the research we did together Okay I've got mine too let's look at the aims of the trip first Right what did you have I just put something about getting experience of the different sorts of procedures used on a field trip. This is C. But we need something about what causes different organisms to choose particular habitats. I This agree. Is a. This is And a. And something about finding out how to protect organisms in danger of dying out. D. In our aims. Mm. But we weren't really looking at that. We won't be I looking at that. I suppose not. Yeah. Got it? So they first spoke about C. 
then they came to A and then finally B and the right answer is A. Question number 22, what equipment did they forget to take on the field? You know sometimes you say pakode to ghar hi and you go on a picnic, everything is ready but you forget something. So the thing that they forgot that will be the answer and the thing that they brought that will be the trap, string, compass and ruler, right? Let's see what is that, very simple. Okay, now there's the list of equipment we all had to bring on the field trip. What did they tell us to bring a ruler for? It was something about measuring the slope of the shore. But of course, we didn't need it because we were measuring wind direction and we'd brought the compass for that. But not the piece of string to hold up in the air. <laughs> didn't Mr. Blake make a fuss about us leaving that behind? Yeah, he does go on. Anyway, it was easy to get one from another of the students. Hmm? Okay, you said B. B is compass, right? C is ruler. It is actually string, okay? Okay, guys, now let's listen to this audio again and you should focus all options. Okay, now there's the list of equipment we all had to bring on the field trip. What did they tell us to bring a ruler for? It was something about measuring the slope of the shore. But of course, we didn't need it because we were measuring wind direction and we'd brought the compass for that. But no wind direction and we brought a compass for that. Now, they didn't mention they forgot it or not. Next. Not the piece of string to hold up in the air. <laughs> didn't Mr. Blake make a fuss about us leaving? Okay, just a second. Okay, now there's the list of equipment we all had to bring on the field trip. What did they tell us to bring a ruler for? It was something about measuring the slope of the shore. But of course, we didn't need it because we were measuring wind direction and we'd brought the compass for that. But not the piece of string to hold up in the air. <laughs> didn't okay. Mr. Blake make a fuss about us leaving that behind? Yeah, he does go on. But anyway, it was easy to get one from another of the students. So, not a piece of string means they actually forgot that. So, string is the answer. Question number 23. Helen's procedure section, Colin suggests a change in. Now, where he suggests the change, that is the answer. And what he says, it's okay. You don't need to do any change. That's all right. That is just a trap. Change in where? A. Order in which information is given. So, order information is given. Don't focus anything. Just focus order. Chronological order. B is way information is divided. So, way information divided. A is order information given. And C is amount of information. That's it. Is that clear? So, you will focus A order of information. B, way information is divided and C, amount of information. And what's the question? Colin suggests a change in. Let's see. Now, the next section is the procedure. I sent you the draft of that. Yeah, um, it was clear, but I don't think we need all these details of what time we left and what time we got back and how we divided up the different research tasks. Mm, okay, I'll look at that again. I don't think we need all the details, what time you came in, what time you went and all that. So, B is way the information is divided. No, we don't need all the details, what time you came in, what time you went and all that. Puchna kuch to hona hi hai na. Decide kar le, koi A ka kare A, dousra ke mein B kunga. Agar na hoa, tu C kare de, nai class ki izzat bach jai gi, okay? Alright, listen again, not, not the tukka thing. Ye nahi hai to ye hai, ye nahi hai to ye hai. Now, the next section is the procedure. I sent you the draft of that. Yeah, um, it was clear, but I don't think we need all these details of what time we left and what time we got back and how we divided up the different research tasks. Mm, okay, I'll look at that again. Change in. 
A is order. They didn't talk about it. Okay. B is way of information is divided up. No, it's actually C. Amount of information provided. You don't need all the details, what time you came in, what time you went. So that is amount of information which is provided and they need the change in that. The right answer is C. The bag is closed. It's a little active. Okay. Yeah. Question number 24. What do they say about the method they use to measure wave speed? Method, measure wave speed. What do they say? Provided accurate results, focus accurate results, accuracy. B, simple to carry out. And C, required special equipment. So, uh, method they use to measure wave speed. What do they say? In A, you will only focus on accurate results. In B, simple to carry out. And C, uh, required special equipment. Let's see. Then we have to describe our method of investigation in detail. Mm. So let's begin with how we measured wave speed. I was surprised how straightforward that was. I'd expected us to have some sort of high-tech device, not just stand there and count the number of waves per minute. <laughs> not very precise, but I suppose it was good enough. But the way we measured the amount of salt was interesting. In the water from the rock pools? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to check the chemicals we used in the lab when we analysed those samples. Uh, was it potassium chromate and silver nitrate? That's right. Okay. Provided accurate results. Okay, anyone else? B is simple to carry out. C wala koi nahi hai. It is actually B. And I tell you why. Yes, it is B. I tell you why. Then we have to describe our method of investigation in detail. Mm. So let's begin with how we measured wave speed. I was surprised how straightforward that was. I was surprised how straightforward that was. Simple to carry out. Exactly. After that, they do all the fuss and... Okay and then they confuse you. I was surprised how simple was that then. I'd expected us to have some sort of... I'd expected. Whatever they say after I'd expected, I thought that is going to be the trap, right? I'd expected that we need a high-tech equipment and all that, right? So I'd expected means I had the expectation, but that didn't happen. Whenever they say I'd expected, it means whatever they say after that, that didn't happen. They were only expecting that. So option uh, C, special equipment, that was a trap because of I'd expected. High tech device, not just stand there and count the number of waves per minute. <laughs> not very precise, but I suppose it was good enough. Okay, let's go on. Let's look at the new Taylor Concert Hall in relation no, 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 to no, these. No, no. All right, we move on now, 25. What mistake did Helen make when first drawing the map? When she draw the map, what mistake did she do? Chose the wrong play, wrong scale. Option A, wrong scale. Option B, stood in the wrong place. And option C, did it at the uh, wrong time. So wrong scale, wrong place, wrong time. Just focus that. And we need the map of the seashore. You just left that to me. And I had to do it while the tide was low. Well, that was okay, but the place I started it from was down on the beach. Then I realized I should have gone up higher to get better visibility. So I had to start all over again. But at least I got the squared paper or I'd have had problems drawing it all to scale. Yeah. B. Actually B. Why? Because I was at the low place and then I had to stand up at the upper place and all that. So wrong place. And answer came initially. Okay. Question number 26. What do they decide to do next with their map? Now they have a map. Uh, and what do they decide to do next with that map which they made over there? It looks good. We could get a map of the region off the internet and see if we need to make any changes. I had a look, but I couldn't find anything. But you took some pictures, didn't you? Yeah, I'll email you them if you want. Okay. 
I'll make my amendments using those, then I can scan it into our report. Great. Okay, I'll make my amendments using those. Those means pictures, right? So the answer is B. Check it using photographs. All right. <laughs> okay. That's what they say. Tumari kismati kharaab hai. Okay. Multiple choice and then we got double multiple choice. Anyways, questions 27 and 28. Again, the question, which two problems affecting organisms in the splash zone are mentioned? Now, two problems which are affecting organisms in the splash zone will be mentioned and other organisms will not be mentioned. What are they? Lack of water, it's one problem. Uh, strong winds, lack of food, high temperatures, large waves. Now listen very clearly, they will use synonym for each of these words like lack of water, they may use some other word that describes lack of water, dearth of water, not enough water, insufficient water. For strong winds, they can use any other word. Speed of the wind, fast winds like that. Lack of food, again the same thing they will do with food. High temperatures, for high temperatures, they can use the temperature itself like 100 degrees, 120 degrees. These are high temperatures and large waves, any other word for that. Let's see. So, two problems affecting organisms in the splash zone which are mentioned. Let's see. Now, when we get to our findings, I thought we could divide them up into the different zones we identified on the shore and the problems organisms face in each zone. So, for the highest area... The splash zone. Yeah. We found mostly those tiny shellfish that have strong hard shells that act as protection. But not from other organisms that might eat them. Predators. No, that's not the main danger for them. But the shells prevent them from drying out because they're in the open air for most of the time. Right. And since they're exposed, they need to be able to find some sort of shelter or cover themselves up so they don't get too hot. Mm. Then in the middle and lower zones nearer the sea, we need to discuss the effects of wave action. Yes, and how organisms develop structures to prevent themselves from being swept away or even destroyed by being smashed against the rocks. Mm. I haven't done anything on the geological changes. I don't know what to put for that. Mm, no, we weren't concentrating on that. Maybe we need to find some websites. Good idea. I've got the lecture notes from Mr Blake's geology course, but they're too general. Mm. But we could ask him which books on our reading list might be most helpful. Right. So, it should be B and D. D for doctor. Yeah, that's right. High temperatures and large waves. It is actually high temperatures and let me check the second option. Uh, the right answer is A and D. A. A is lack of water. Right? So, I tell you why lack of water is the right answer. Uh, for lack of water, they actually used, but the shells prevent them from diving out because they are in the ocean air for most of the time. Right. So, uh, okay, I am just reading this from there. As I said, but not from other organisms that might eat them, predators. No, that is not the main danger for them. But the shells prevent them from drying out. Now, dry out. When something dries out, why? Because of lack of water. So, drying out and lack of water. Now, I play the audio. In the audio, you can focus this thing. Now, when we get to our findings, I thought we could divide them up into the different zones we identified on the shore and the problems organisms face in each zone. So, for the highest area... The splash zone. Yeah. 
We found mostly those tiny shellfish that have strong hard shells that act as protection. But not from other organisms that might eat them, predators. No, that's not the main danger for them. But the shells prevent them from drying out because they're in the open air for most of the time. Right. Okay, shells prevent them from drying out. So, not predators, but actually this. Now, let's move on. Questions 29 and 30. Choose two letters A to E. Which two reasons for possible error will they include in their report? Two reasons, possible error, and they are going to include it in their report. A. Inaccurate records of the habitat of organisms. So, mainly inaccurate record of habitat. Option B. So, as with a... And where do you live? Okay, okay. Option B. Influence on behavior of organisms by observer. Influence on behavior. And by the way, organism is understood. They are talking about that. C. Incorrect identification of some organisms. Clue word is incorrect identification. Option D, making generalizations from a small sample. Now, making generalization means from a small sample, you understand that all the organisms are like that. If one person cheats you from a certain country and you make a generalization that all the people of that country are thief, so this is what we call making generalization from a small sample. And E is missing some organisms when counting. When they were counting, they missed some of them. Okay, let's see what that is. Okay, okay. Now, I did a draft of the section of sources of possible error in our research, but I don't know if you agree. For example, the size of the sample and whether it's big enough to make any general conclusions from. But I thought, actually, we did have quite a big sample. We did. And our general method of observation seemed quite reliable, but we might not be all that accurate as far as the actual numbers go. Yeah, we might have missed some organisms, mm. if they were hiding under a rock, for example. Mm. I wasn't sure about the way we described their habitats. I decided it was probably okay. Yeah, and the descriptions we gave of the smaller organisms, they weren't very detailed, but they were adequate in this context. I'm not sure we identified all the species correctly, though. Okay, we'd better mention that. I'm not sure we identified those species correctly, though. So, identify correctly and incorrect identification, that is C. And the other one is E, counting. So, E came first and at the end they talked about C. So, on your answer sheet, you may write on 29C and on 30E. Or you can write it in any order. Like you can write 29E and 30C. Both ways it is right. Okay.